What's up, YouTube? It's Jeremy, and as you can tell by what's on my screen, I'm going to be ranking every licensed game I've ever made a review about. So if you haven't noticed, I've talked about a lot of video games on this channel, but I've never given a single one a number rating, and that's just because I don't really believe in that. I don't think they're a very good indication for the quality of a game. I think a better way to do it is to say it's better than this game, but not as good as this game, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing here. That way, when I make another video about a licensed game, I can throw a rate in this list and give you a really good idea of the quality of the game. And with that said, let's dive right in. So we're going to start with Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonky which is a video I just made, I think October 1st. This game I had when I was little. I remember absolutely loving it. Playing it again, it's really, really wasn't that fun. The whole twonky catching mechanic just isn't that good. Exploration is fine because the world's so interesting, but it, it's not a good game. I'm going to give it a D. Next up, Simpsons Road Rage. This is one of my oldest videos. Came out November 2018. This game is fun. It's a crazy taxi ripoff. There's just not a lot of content in it, and you have to unlock so much. Like, playing the same thing over and over again just to unlock basic things. Like, I want to play Krusty the Clown, but I gotta play for like 10 hours. It's like, no. So, if it weren't for that, and all the content was available from the start, I'd probably give it a B. But C+, plus C, I think I'm comfortable with that. Spongebob Lights Camera Pants. I mentioned this game in my Muppets Party Cruise video earlier this year. I didn't make a full video about it, but there's just not much to it. It's a bunch of mini-games, there's no party mode really. It's supposed to be a party game-ish. I've played the multiplayer, it's fine. It's better than Attack of the Twonkies. Still a D-tier game. Simpsons Hit and Run, this is an easy one. S tier, one of my favorite games of all time. It's Grand Theft Auto. It's The Simpsons. The world is so much fun to explore. All the levels are designed super well, and the driving. The driving is so good in this game. Okay, uh, Scooby-Doo Unmasked. When I first looked at it, which was back in 2018, I said it was on the lower end of mediocrity, I think. But lower end of mediocrity is like a low C to D-ish. I don't think it's that low. I think it's, I think it's better than Road Rage. It's it's a fun game, and after playing the other two Scooby-Doo games, it's the best of those three. C tiers where it belongs. SpongeBob Creature from the Krusty Krab. This one I made a video about this year, and I, I thought it was gonna be good. You know, it's the sequel to uh, the SpongeBob movie game, handled by a different developer. But there were just so many, so many different gameplay styles in the game, and it just none of them felt polished enough. None of them were really the centerpiece. The SpongeBob gameplay had potential, but they just didn't develop it enough. Uh, Creature from the Krusty Krab, better than these two, not quite C tier, D tier game. Shrek Super Slam, it's one of those games I made a video about, it's a short video, I kind of forgot what I said in it. I do remember having fun with the game, I played with some buddies of mine, and had a blast with it, because this is Shrek beating up Donkey, we'll never get old. I'm thinking around a C, it's not a B, I wouldn't say lower mediocre. It's a fun fighting game I would return to, I'd, I'd play it over Road Rage. So yeah, yeah, middle of, middle of C tier. I say it's to the meltdown. A lot of nostalgia for this game. Playing it again this July it was not fun. I also played the Wii version and the motion controls really ruined some of the mini games, but I can't put it C tier, no. It's better than Creature from the Krusty Krab, in my opinion. I mean, there's some mini games, but there is a clear focus to the game. You're playing a scrat, platforming, exploring. Yeah, it's better than Creature from the Krusty Krab. The best game on this entire list, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Probably one of my, it's, it's without a doubt one of my favorite games of all time. My favorite licensed game ever. I grew up with this game, still play it to this day. It's better than The Simpsons Hit and Run. It's so much fun. And there's really not much else I can say about it. it it's a great game. Family Guy video game though. This game's not good. I, I played it a while ago and I replayed it a little bit for a short review I did earlier this year. It's not good. The stealth gameplay is Brian's boring. The, the Peters is button spam combat. What else you play as? You play as Stewie, yeah, and there's like some platforming. It's worse than Attack of the Twonkies. It, it's, it, I, I'm tempted to put it in F tier, but no, I'm, I'm gonna give it a low D. The Simpsons game is a great game. I played that uh, over the summer. I didn't think it was gonna be that good. I had it when I was younger. I didn't get super far into it. I just kind of gave up on it. I think at the that forest level, but playing it again for that video, it's a lot of fun, and there's a lot to like. Uh, the puzzles in that game are better than any puzzles in any of the games on this list and it's just a great simpsons product uh the story is not really good but i don't want to play games with the story the gameplay is great the puzzles are great love that game a tier easy i would put s tier it's very close but nah a tier now, the opposite of that game scooby-doo mystery mayhem the worlds are boring to explore you can't jump <laughs> i mean i mean enough said right there there's just no real reason to play it the gameplay is not fun the worlds aren't fun to explore Oh, and the stupid uh, ghost catching mechanic, like the 
Twonky thing and attack the Twonkies. It's probably done worse. I hate the stupid button spamming to catch them. Like, no, it, it's not good. Tom and Jerry War of the Whiskers, though. This is a fun game. I, I didn't have a ton of fun with it, but it's on the same kind of level as Shrek Super Slam. I would play Shrek Super Slam over War of the Whiskers. I'd probably take Road Rage over it. Yeah, bottom of C tier. It, it's a fun game. I personally prefer Shrek Super Slam. They're very similar, but yeah, that's, that's where I'll put it. Family Guy, back to the multiverse. This game... I knew nothing about it going into it. I knew it was developed by Heavy Iron Studios, and they made Battle for Bikini Bottom. And I, you know, this came out multiple years after that. I thought they kind of died out, but no, they made this game, and they made a really freaking good Family Guy game. This game, the original Family Guy game, is awful. That game scraps everything from that original game, makes an entirely new thing, and it's really good. Like, the, the shooting in that game is fun. The world is recreated very, very nicely. And the multiplayer, like, of all these licensed games, this has the best multiplayer, undoubtedly. Well... Besides maybe one of them, but we'll get to that when we get there. Next up, Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown. I made this video last summer. I don't really remember much about it. I remember it was fun. I remember a lot of the puzzles were good, and there was some fun platforming. Oh, there were all the different wish powers in each level. Yeah, I thought that was implemented pretty well. Um, I don't think it's quite A tier, and plus B is looking kind of empty. I think this is a B plus for sure. That game was fun. Next up, Muppet Monster Adventure. I talked about this game in my More Muppets Games video last summer, and it's really, really not good. Um, I don't want to put it in F tier because it is an older game. Pro I think it's the oldest game uh, on this list. Oh, besides Tom and Jerry House Trap. So that's the reason for a lot of its uh, flawed gameplay. You know, it's an early PS1 like platform ex exploration based game. At very best, D minus. I'm doing it solid. I actually couldn't play that one on the OG hardware because it's, like, really expensive for some reason. Guess it didn't sell well, which makes sense. It's, it's a bad game. Speaking of bad games, Spider-Man for GameCube PS2. It's awful. The swinging in that game is automated. He just goes ks, 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 whenever you click whatever button. The combat is boring, and every level was so dark and, like, just tough to navigate. Yeah, uh, would I play it over Mystery Mayhem? Yeah, probably, but... They're on the same level. And here's another F. Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. My least favorite game of all time. I thought it was Jet Fusion. I thought Jet Fusion overtook that. But after beating it finally, I realized Boy Genius is by far worse. There's really no redeeming qualities. It's unpolished. The worlds are bland. Uh, it looks bad. It smells bad. And it even tastes bad. So, bottom of the F tier. There it goes. SpongeBob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Now, this game... This game I also said was a kind of bottom, not quite mediocre. It's definitely D tier somewhere. It's not quite F. It's it's, it's a lot better than Boy Genius, uh, made by the same developers. They really improved in quite a few areas, but an improvement for Big Sky Interactive is worse than what a lot of developers can do. I would, I'd play it over the Muppet Monster Adventure. No, I'd, I'd take Family Guy video game over Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Next up, Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. This game's fun. Another Heavy Iron Studios game. Love that developer. This game has a lot going for it. The worlds are very, very spooky. Um, platforming's fun. There's a lot of cool abilities you get. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put it in C tier, I think. I put it in front of War of the Whiskers, not quite Road Rage. Thinking about it now, I think un, I think Unmasked is a, is a tier higher than that. So yeah, I'm comfortable putting that in a, like a B minus tier with Night of 100 Frights at about a C. Muppets Party Cruise is next. I love this game. I grew up with this game. The party mode is unlike any party mode I had ever played. But then I played Super Mario Party. And that game kind of stole its board game mode in concept. But I still think Muppets Party Cruise does it better. It's also dirt cheap. And the minigame selection is pretty good. Not great. But absolute steal for the PS2. If you've got a PlayStation 2 lying around, buy this game. You'll have fun with it. Get some friends over. It's a good time. It's... it's it's an easy B. I'd play it over. Uh, this is tough. Am I going to take it over Unmasked? Nah. Not quite as good as Unmasked. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Spider-Man 2 is next. This game laid the foundation for the newer Spider-Man games. And I love those games. The Insomniac ones are some of my favorite games probably out of the last decade. So for that alone, it's got a... Like, it, it's, it's above B tier. I'm going to give it an A tier. Under Back to the Multiverse, but still, phenomenal game. I didn't actually beat it, but the swinging is phenomenal. Um, the open world is really, really well done. It's a, it's a really great game. Rick and Morty Virtual Reality. I actually bought my gaming PC 
Uh, well, I had other reasons, but I bought it and was really excited to try this game. And, well, it, it, it was a lot of fun, but there just wasn't a lot to explore. You get to go in uh, Rick's garage, I think the, the bathroom, and, like, some, like, satellite and another planet. But, like, there just wasn't a lot to explore, but from what I did get to explore, it was a lot of fun. Job simulators along the same kind of lines. I'd play this over Job Simulator because it's the world of Rick and Morty. But I'm, I'm thinking C+. I, I'd take Muppets Party Cruise over it. Uh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, Rehydrated. My video on this game is one of my most viewed, and it's without a doubt the most disliked uh, review I've made. Because I had a very negative opinion of it. I played the game near launch, and I played the Switch version, so unoptimized and not very polished made a very bad combination. I did not like this game. I did, however, buy the fun edition for PS4. I still have that version sealed, so if I ever replay the game, I'll be playing the PS4 version. My PS4 did break, so I'll be getting a PS5 at some point. This is a big investment. I can't find one. Not over, I'm not paying more than $500 for one. But if I ever do get it and decide to replay that game, you know, I'll give it a shot. But when there's the original, I've got it for Xbox, the definitive version. It, it runs well. It looks really good. I love the original so much. I, I don't see myself replaying the remake ever again. It, it It's not an average game. It's below average. The only reason it's a D plus is because the level designs are so good. But the gameplay wasn't built around the level designs, so they don't really mix well. But I, I'd still take it over Ice Age 2. Yeah, it's, it's a D plus. Uh, Jimmy Neutron Jet Fusion. As I said earlier, I hated this game so much. F, F minus. This is poopy tier. But after I figured out uh, the, the guy dang it that I discussed in my video, I realized it's it's got some stuff going for it. Um, some of the stuff is really bad, but I take it over Attack of the Twonkies. I would not take it over Lights, Camera, Pants, but uh, a D to D minus uh, range seems pretty fair for that game. Uh, then we got the SpongeBob movie game. Now, in my video about it, I said it was just as good as SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, and I stand by that. But Battle for Bikini Bottom is about the Spongebob television series, and the movie game is about the Spongebob movie. Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom brought the world of the show to life. This brought the movie to life. So the lasting impact of Battle for Bikini Bottom is going to be way greater. But when it comes to replayability, I'm going to play the movie game over uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom probably 9 times out of 10, because just the design of the levels are way more fun. They're more linear, challenge-based. I like it a lot. A+. Plus, um... I might actually take the Simpsons game over it, but the Simpsons game is real, really, like, pushing its way to S tier. It's it's phenomenal, but the movie game was just a sequel with the same assets, so the lasting impact of it isn't as significant. Still an A tier game. I take it over back to the multiverse, I think. And yeah, that just leaves Tom and Jerry House Trap. This game's the only other PS1 game, or that generation of game, and I thought it was fun. It's a really interesting concept for a Tom and Jerry game, and it works Really well, it's the most faithful transition from show to game. So I take it over War of the Whiskers, but it's older. It could use a lot of polish. It could use a revised version, but I'm, I'm still going to put it... It's not better than Night of 100 Frights. Is it? Is it better than Night of 100 Frights? No, it's not. I actually think Night of 100 Frights is better than The Simpsons Road Rage 2. Yeah, okay. I think this is a pretty solid ranking of everything. I know the... The D tier is a lot longer than the others, but, but yeah, there's a lot of less than mediocre games that aren't awful, so I don't want to put them in the F tier. But yeah, I think I think those rankings are actually pretty good, but those are all just in my opinion. Um, if you want more in-depth thoughts on e any one of these games, I'll have a playlist linked at the end of this video with all of these uh, videos in it, so you can just click the playlist, scroll down what you want. Bada bing, bada boom. If you disagree with anything on this list, that's totally fine. Leave a comment and explain why, though. Don't just be like, oh, you're an idiot. I can't believe you said Attack of the Twonkies is bad. Hmm. <laughs> like, if you have actual reasons, tell me why, and I'll I'll be sure to respond to you. I try to respond to every comment. But if you like this uh, tier list style of video, uh, please let me know down in the comments, too, because I would love to do more of these. If you have any ideas for them as well, like, please, by all means, let me know down below. These are a lot easier to produce. I can release them way more frequently. And they're fun to make, so it's a win, 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 whatever. But if this is your first time on the channel, please uh, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot to me. You won't miss any videos, so there you go.